about right amen for God to come in this morning amen and speak to your hearts amen spirit spoken words words of life this morning do you believe that are you ready for the word amen let's send off in one more time as we get ready to welcome our precious pastor this morning
kutika na kutika na tawingwa erufu erufu mado pasi zireke kuzunga kuzunga na kuzunga kute kuenda. I cry, oh God. Amen. If you want to be remembered in a word of prayer, just raise your hands to him. He is a high priest this morning that can be touched by the feelings of our infirmity. He is an ever-present God. Precious Heavenly Father, we have come, Lord, to see you. We have come, Lord, to be one with you, to experience your grace, to experience your goodness, Lord. Father, we are so thankful that you have caused us to approach you. We are so thankful that you have caused us, Lord, that we can be in this place. Touch the, the sick in our midst. Make them whole, O oh God. I pray, dear Master, in the name of Jesus Christ, Set the captives free. Deliver the bound, O oh God. Restore the one that is backslidden. Let him come back again into the sheepfold. Open the eyes of the blind. The blind naturally and the blind spiritually. O oh God, may there be a supernatural reconciliation with your children. Father, we are looking for that access. The secret to the access to the other side. Where, oh God, we can be one without theophanies. Dear Master, bring down coriander seed with dilium color. Bring down a word that will change our bodies to be better people. Give us faith for rapturing grace. Anoint the preacher like never before this morning. May we not hear from a man, but may we hear from God. May we see Christ and him crucified. That is my prayer. That is my desire, O oh God. One word from thee will suffice. We bless your name. We commit this service into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you happy to be here? Yes. Amen. I can see you are happy. Amen. Uh, we've got a couple of visitors that I want to recognize this morning. Um, we have uh, Brother Envoy. I'm going to ask Brother Envoy to stand so we can welcome him in the house of God. Amen. Oh, he's sitting right here in front. God bless you, Brother Envoy. Feel free, feel welcome in the house of God. Amen. 
Um, we also have Brother Paradza and family. I don't know where they are sitting. Ah, there is at the back. You, you had me uh, giving the testimony of the boy. That's Brother Paradza. Amen. He's my big brother in the flesh. He's my brother in the spirit. Amen. We appreciate God so much for what he's done. Uh, there's a sister, sister Ruth that was telling me she's coming. I don't know if she managed to make it. Uh, you can stand so we can welcome you. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, they told me we're coming to Benoni on the 12th of, uh, of June. So I, I, I just did the math. One plus one equals two. <laughs> Amen. I know there's a lot of visitors that are visiting with us this morning. Some of you are our usual visitors. So you are all welcome. Feel free in the house of God and just have a wonderful time. There's a reason we don't advertise anymore these days. Uh, usually because we won't have space. But uh, they have a way of finding out. Sister Adessa, <laughs> we have you here. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. He is so wonderful. Amen. Yesterday we had a beautiful time at uh, Sister Ruth's wedding. We were enjoying ourselves. Amen. You see, you have to understand what is fun so that you can enjoy. You see, if there's a funeral of somebody in mourning, they will some throw themselves on the floor. You know, some tear clothes. The Bible says that. His kingly garments. His mourning. That's a way of mourning. We were enjoying yesterday, so don't judge us because we're having fun. You don't, you don't come and try to be over spiritual in a wedding. It's a time for people to enjoy. Can you say amen? And you see, we're looking forward to a lot of weddings. Uh, can I prophesy? <laughs> You see the way people love prophecy. <laughs> Prophesy! <laughs> Hallelujah! We shall have courtships before October. Amen! Praise God! We shall have weddings before December. You believe it? You shall get into courtship. Because we want them want to eat cakes we want to enjoy i've got a lot of runs that i want to be throwing on you like but i'm not going to throw until you wait if you want pastor's money chata <laughs> amen praise the lord amen we appreciate god it was brother sean's birthday we say happy birthday to Little brother Sean, is he in church today? I don't see Sister Hope. Okay. It was also Sister Chagwedera's birthday. Uh. <laughs> brother Paul is clapping the loudest. Amen. He's thankful for another blessed year. It was Brother Mkungwa's birthday also. We appreciate God. Amen. <laughs> And it was Brother Josphat's birthday. So Sister Hope's boys, both of them, had a birthday in, in less than a week. So we appreciate God. Amen. And we say congratulations to Brother Blessed and Sister Ruth. You made us proud. Amen. <clears throat> Jealous down. The wedding was nice. Jealous down. Even the food was nice. Amen. 
unfortunately not everyone could be invited because of constraints and things like that but hear it from us <laughs> that way they, we enjoyed ourselves and I jealous down I preached very well <laughs> jealous down <laughs> jealous down I felt like I was preaching to white people. You know, I was speaking in English. Pure English. We appreciate God. Amen. So, um, we have, uh, we have some, some, some books that we got from, from our brothers in, in America uh, through the, the conduit of brother, brother Aaron Nengomasha. And we are so thankful to Brother Aaron for making it possible for us because uh, church age books are now difficult to access. Can I see people that are going to the Sunday school senior class? If you go there, raise your hand. Let's see. Uh, senior class. Okay. So if you have not raised your hand, it means you are not going there. So all these people that have raised their hands, you can bring them down. We'll give you these books for free. We're going to give, because they, they need them the most. They need them the most. We want them to study, you see. But uh, to the elderly, we are opening a library because we have a number of books. But we are not trying to get a profit out of them. It's just so that we can keep the processes going. Uh, so one book will be... Uh, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy? Are you still happy? You can play. You can be playing softly. Amen. So that's good. Uh, those that have ears to hear have heard. Um, so, so one copy is just 30 rand and for two copies it's just 50 rand to the rest of the church. So if you don't have a church age book, you are guilty. You must have church age books in your homes. Be reading through these books. Amen. So you get those from the trustees. Um, after service, I would like to just see musicians. So I want to see the musicians. I want to see the song leaders. I want to see those that are operating at the back. Everyone that, that operates at the back. And I also want to see those that have been practicing uh, to play instruments. So uh, after service, if those ones could remain so that uh, uh, we can talk a little bit. Um, don't, don't go out so that we call you to come back. Just remain behind so that we don't waste much time. Amen. And uh, I would just like to appreciate uh, the church. Uh, for all that you are doing for the prayers even on friday i am so thankful but uh, i felt so compelled and touched that sometimes we are not thankful um, when things are being done towards us um, i would like to really really appreciate uh, there are people really that have become co-workers uh, in the ministry you know, there are people that I don't have to ask.
to do certain things, but they just do them. And I would like to really appreciate them. You know, sometimes you come in church and then all of a sudden you find there is heaters in the church. Maybe it's not been announced. Somebody just feels led. Let me get the heaters for church. Sometimes you come, you find there is a desktop and a, a computer. I would like to appreciate. They, sometimes I get into my office, you find there is sofas. There is a, there is a, a microwave. There is a fridge. The other day I had to leave that fridge standing for some time. I thought it was somebody else's fridge. They just used my office as a storage space. They said, no, it's yours. Uh, it's, a, it's a big fridge. I'm not saying now come to my office to see the sofas and the fridge. But uh, it's, there are people that are givers. And it's a gift to be a giver. And um, God blesses such a person in the ministry that God has called them. So if God has called you to be a giver, he has to give to you so that you can be able to give. You see, some of you don't have because you do not give. You see, and these are not things that are being given to say we are giving to enrich the pastor. It's for the church because the people that go to sit on the sofas, it's not me. I don't sit on the sofas. You are the ones who sit on the sofas talking to me while I'm sitting on my chair there. So those people, may God really bless these people. Amen. Amen. And, uh, you know, there are some, when we have uh, visiting ministers here, I have to say that because it's also my chance when we have a visiting minister, pastors pay tithes. If you didn't know, pastors, they pay tithes. There is no one that doesn't pay tithes. The only person who doesn't pay tithes is God. Everyone else pays tithes. So if pastors come, I have to pay tithes to other pastors you see that's how it works if i go to them they also pay tithes you know like that that's that's how ministry works but you find there are the co-workers come and they see maybe there's been too many pastors coming they think maybe pastor i think right now things are not well come as a pastor please give to so and so or it just comes packaged towards that uh, that pastor you are not doing it for me. You are doing it for yourself. You are doing it unto God. And may God bless you for that. Amen. I know we have brothers also, you know, that get clothes. Bring clothes there. Pastors at home. Please, pastor, what's the size of this pastor? What's his shirt size? Give them. And uh, remember the last time, Pastor Saidi and Brother Samuel, he had to go and buy extra suitcases. You see, they're like, yo, ah, I think we keep coming to Benoni. I said, since has changed, you know. <laughs> since has changed. But, but you're a lovely people. This church is a lovely church, pastors. I must, I must confess. And um, I want to say this. Um, The Bible says, it says, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto Aaron and unto the sons, saying, on this wise shall he bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The shalom. May God bless you. Amen. So we appreciate everyone. There are people that I know that if I need anything, anytime, I just say, brother, we need to go and fix this at church. They are there. Brother, you know, Ed, I can't do that with anyone else. If I do that with someone else, I'll be on the status. I want to be used of the Holy Ghost, not of the past. You see. But those are men that are really dear. They come anytime, especially our trustees. Brother, anytime. Sometimes the alarm here at church goes off 3 a.m. 
we receive phone calls on our phone burglary at church you see and then i'll be like okay i'm getting also in my regalia to drive to come here by the time i'm here the trustees are already here and they are driving a further distance than me god bless and god bless you hey man are you happy to be blessed you've heard from the lord this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice we came here to receive there's been a change in this church are you hearing what i'm saying there's been a change and we are riding the wave of change brother hallelujah let's stand up on our feet we want to finish the preacher this morning brother chinamasa is here we missed him on the fourth we said we can't miss him on the 12th because 12 is a number of worship we said come let's worship together amen Aishna Masa loves this song. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Okay. I don't know how to really sing it, but I'll try. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him in just to upon his promise oh just to know i say let's go tis so sweet tis so sweet to trust in jesus Child, to take me to oh, just to rest, oh, upon his oh, just to know that she. Jesus, 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 say how I trust, say how I grew before and more. Jesus, precious Jesus. Sweet. 
to trust in Jesus. Just Hallelujah. Let's give him a praise. Let's give him a praise offering. Hallelujah. Someone shout hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you. Take your seats. Thank you, Pastor, for sending me this song. How I love it. You know, the prophet used to like only believe. And uh, there's something about these songs want to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm happy to be among you again. I think this is my third time to be here. Uh, the pastor falls short to that. Uh, we really want to appreciate Pastor Mahere for extending the invitation uh, that we'll be together again today. Uh, I love him and uh, the church back home loves him also want to appreciate sister Mahere for standing with the man of God most of the time we appreciate these pastors and so forth and uh, deacons and so forth but we forget to appreciate their wives you know the prophet said when God calls a man he calls him together with his wife and uh, sometimes we don't really understand what they go through in life because of the ministry, the strains and things and so forth. And uh, But uh, may God bless Sister Mahere. May God bless all the ministers' wives, including my wife back home there. May God bless you, dear soul there and all. And uh, I appreciate you, sisters, uh, with the uh, for the labors that you have and uh, and everyone of you and for all those that come for the services because if you don't come we don't preach to the pulpit here or to the walls there we just have to preach to somebody and you are the people that uh, makes God to be well known because he's, we are identified together with him and I want to take this time also to appreciate Pastor Shreka God bless you and his wife uh, they've been taking good care of me and all that, though he's the man who detains me, but I want to appreciate them 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, our lovely song leader there. God bless you, every one of you. We really enjoyed at Easter time. You know, uh, we had the pastor uh, in Norton. Uh, we had Pastor Mahere. It was a Monday service. He was not supposed to be there, but uh, I've got a way of operating and doing my things with God. If I really need a preacher, I don't fuss with them. I know what to do. There's a preacher in Zimbabwe they have taught him. Every time you come to Harare, you must tell me that I'm coming from Tari. And if you don't tell me, God will tell me. So the moment he steps in, I call him and say, hello, person. Welcome to Harare. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in Northern. So he, he gets surprised. How? And sometimes people will be waiting for him to preach there and there. I just go to God and say, Lord, you know how I'm not a hard every time I'm invited to go and preach. I, I'm just right there on time. I'm somebody, if you call me and I just pray and I feel that God wants me to go there, I'll just say, I'll be there. And sometimes, uh, if God really reveals to me that I'm going to preach there before even the pastor invites me, so uh, I'll be aware of it. And so I don't have time to say this and that. I know exactly how God leads me. And oh, if He doesn't want me here, I, I know it also. I'll just tell you, I can't. And uh, that's it. So if I'm supposed to come, I don't say, uh, you know, the Shona people, when you offer them food there and say, oh, we are eating, can you have, can you join us? And say, ah, no, we are okay. But you keep on persisting. And then they will say, ah, <laughs> then they, <laughs> you see, but they were hungry already, you see. So from Malawi, so, <laughs> so when we come to church like this, brother, and we say, receive your heart desire, don't just say, uh, uh, then finally say, Dimani Kizeni, Pastor. No, we will be really saying it, and you, you just get ready to. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Loves the Lord. I, I, I have enjoyed to be here. I hope today I will also enjoy the first time I was preaching about is it the physical, visible manifestation of substance faith? I think there's, yeah, I still remember that. Then the second time it was that. Uh, not many days hence um, and uh, i don't know if it was not many days hence that's when we're talking about this sister back home there and we're expecting a wedding on the 6th of august uh it's a four-month courtship i was just preaching and i said uh, oh all those that are 25 years and above i'm giving you this whole year this year to, to get in court. Then I said, ah, I've put it too far. One year is too far. Let me bring it down to six months. Then I said, that's too far. I said, let me bring it back to three months. Then I said, ah, still, it's too far. Then I said, ah, let me bring it down to one month. Then I said, ah, it's still too far. But when I came to three months somewhere there, I started feeling the pull from my right. And I knew the rest of the people were left in the rest, left out then I, I began to realize I was talking to this one from my right. Then I said, three months is still too far. Then I said, I give you one month to get in courtship. Then I said, it's still too far. Then I said, I bring it down to two weeks. Then I said, I feel it's still too far. Then I said, let me bring it down to three days. And we, we rested on three days. That was Friday. So Sunday after the service, I saw a very fine young brother who came and said, Pastor, how are you? You know, then he said, Pastor, I, 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 can I talk to you? I said, about what? He said, I feel the redemption power within me. I said, okay. You, you feel like Boaz. We you are looking for Ruth. He said, yes. Then I said, okay. Which one now? He said, that, that sister there I said okay oh, wonderful so I went I said sister within three days Jesus was outside the grave within three days he was out of the grave within three days you know the prophet could get into a city like Benon city and say 
within a week or so your pastors will call me and tell me what the lord has done in this meeting and within a week somewhere out of their wheelchairs within a week some were testifying they were seeing with their eyes that teeth those that were once deep and dumb they could hear and speak the cripple they were walking within and you know what jesus christ that have been my contentions and the prophet says my contentions have been this that jesus christ is the same yesterday and that's my contentions you know jude said let's earnestly contend for the faith that have been my contentions that jesus christ is the same yesterday so i thank you thank you pastor you have a lovely church and it's good to hear such good reports uh, about you christian people uh, that's lovely it really encourages me to see people who are determined to serve their god with their substances uh, their zeal their strength and everything that god has given them uh, let's just stand upon our feet uh, i hope i have recognized everyone and all you online greetings to you in the precious name of the lord jesus christ um uh, you know I, i am somebody who didn't really like these online services uh it was kind of like you know shy and uh, very timid you know but uh i came to accept it and i've seen god helping people online preaching like these people receive the holy ghost wherever they are people receive their healing from wherever they are i've prayed for people over the phone the holy ghost could come right there I, and hear people break through speaking tongues when you are praying with them over the phone so those who are online god bless you may god speak to you as well uh the visible and uh, the online audience um let's just sing this song let us pray first precious lord jesus we thank you we thank you for bringing us to the house of prayer we humble ourselves in your presence come lord jesus manifest yourself to us in a special way we are such a needy people we love you we worship you we thank you for the pastor here pastor mahere we thank you for his wife we thank you for his family we thank you for the church his labors oh god we thank you father for every good thing that you are doing even in this church the way you are blessing your children thank you lord for the services that are conducted from here Lord we thank you for the anointing that you give we thank you for the blessings of the holy spirit we thank you for the revealed word in this day we thank you for the prophet we thank you for brother branham we thank you for the pillar of fire the cloud we thank you father for the bible we thank you for the spoken word we thank you for everything that you have given us lord as your children that we can find the help out of it oh god that we make it finally for the rapture thank you once again for even this service we thank you for the scriptures that you have given us to read today we thank you for the inspiration you have given us even this day we thank you for the sermon we thank you for the service we thank you father for bring us together bless the reading of the word now speak to us lord and bless the hearers bless the ministers bless the preacher in jesus name we pray amen let's take our bibles let's open mark 11 21 to 24 Hebrews 11 verse 5 and 6 and Peter calling to remembrance said unto him master behold the fig tree which thou casest is withered away and Jesus answering said unto him ye have faith in God for verily I say unto you that whatsoever that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he hath said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said amen you shall have whatsoever you shall say i shall have whatsoever Amen. i shall say tell your neighbor you shall have whatsoever Amen. 
he said. Then verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. I want to say to you today, you shall have them. I don't know what are they. That's my subtitle. And you shall have them. Amen. Whether it's them children, whether it's them whatever them blessings, you shall have them. Whether it's them houses, you shall have them. Now, Hebrews 11. By faith, Enoch was translated. And that you should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let's pray. Precious Savior, we thank you for the blessed word. The anointed promises even for this day. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Bless us, Lord. We are not able to interpret the word. You are your own interpreter. May you come interpret it by manifesting it to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take our seats. I want to talk about living and operating in the world of perfect faith. Amen. Can you say amen? amen. Living and operating in the world of perfect faith. Living and operating in the realms of perfect faith. Living and operating in the dimension of perfect faith. What is this faith? The Bible says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So for you to see the things, for you to have these things that others can't see. Because faith sees what others can't see. For you to see these things, for you to have these things, you must live in that realm. You must live in that world. You must be operating in that higher dimension where you can see certain things and the neighbor can see them. Where you can hear certain things and someone cannot hear them. Where you enjoy certain things and someone can enjoy them. Where you live in your world of your own. You are operating in a realm of your own. In that spiritual dimension. Faith is the substance. Of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the world. Were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen. Were not made by things which do not appear. By faith appear. Offered unto God an excellent sacrifice. Then I want to jump there to verse 5. By faith Enoch was translated. What made Enoch's translation? It was by faith. What can translate you? What can change you from one state to another? Like Enoch was translated. He was moved from one state to another. Was moved from one position to another. From one dimension to another. He was by, he did it by faith. Enoch, by faith, was translated. That he should not see death. He was changed that he could not go into the grave. He believed God so much until death could not touch him. He believed God so much until he lived in his own world. He believed God so much until he began to take a walk with him. A perfect walk with God. A perfect walk with the master. A perfect walk with the creator. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. 
said, and he was not found. He was not found among the people. Was not found anymore among the members. Was not found anymore among the doubters. Was not found anymore among the drunkards. Was not found anymore among the smokers. Was not found anymore among the prostitutes. Was not found among the unbelievers. Was not found by faith. Enoch began his own work until he was separated from the rest of the people. He was separated from the doubters, from the members, from the backbiters, was separated, was isolated. He started living his own life. You can start to live your own life by faith. You can start to see your own things by faith. You can start to live in your own world by faith. When others are saying things are hard, you see all things are possible. When others say cancer cannot be healed, you see God is the healer. When others say HIV is killing, you see God is your healer. When others are saying the economy is bad, you have your own economy. You have your own life. You are living in your own world. Oh, I need people with faith today. Let us believe God for our everything. Let us believe God for our lives. Let us work with God. Come on, somebody, take a walk with God this morning. Just take a walk with God. A walk of faith. I feel like just taking a walk, not with Pastor Chireka now, but by faith with God. I want to take a walk. I want to take a walk by, by faith. I want to take a walk with God and walk with him and walk with him and talk with him and walk with him, fellowship with him, communion with him, walk with him until, until you will not be found among the sick. You can walk with God until you will not be found among the poor. You can walk with God until you will not be found among the creepers. You can walk with God until you will not be found among the miserable people. You can walk with God until you will not be found among the drunkards. You can walk with God until you will not found among the evil. You can walk with God. Somebody take a walk. I want to take a walk today. I just want to walk with you. Living by faith in Jesus above. Trusting, confiding in his great love. From himself in his sharpening I'm living by faith and I feel no alarm. Feel no Allah. You can walk with God until you are not found in that situation. Come and take a walk with God until you are not found among the afflictions of this world. That was a perfect walk. He was living in his own world. He began to see certain things. He began to feel the presence of God. He was shunned away from the rest of the worldly things. He was shunned away from every evil there was in his day. By faith, Enoch was translated. For before his translation came, he had this testimony. What was the testimony? It was a testimony of faith. You can't work with God unless you believe. And when you believe God, it's accounted to you for righteousness. Unless you have faith, you will not be regarded righteous. By faith, by grace are we saved. Through faith, not of our own, not of works, that any man should boast. Abraham believed in God. And it was accounted to him for righteousness. When you are righteous, you believe God. When you believe God, it means you are righteous. Our righteousness is of faith. Our holiness is of faith. Our overcoming power is of faith. Our rapture, faith, our rapture translation is of faith. Let it be by faith. 
so that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure be fulfilled that's Romans 16 for there let it be by faith so that it might be by grace when you believe God he gives you the grace when you take God at his word he gives you the ability when you can take God at his word let it be by faith so that it be by grace to the end of the road there, the promise of God. God will make sure he fulfills your word. When you believe him, he will make sure he fulfills his word to you because you have believed. That's why Isaiah has said, who has believed our report? Who has believed our preaching? Who has believed our testimony of Jesus Christ? To him is the arm of the Lord refused. What is the arm of the Lord? That's the power of God. When you believe, when you receive the report the power of God is revealed to you you have to believe first for the power to be revealed you believe first for the power to be released your faith in God your faith in the Bible your faith in the message releases the power of Almighty God when you believe in the Bible when you believe in the spoken word it releases the power which is in the spoken word it releases the power of healing releases the power of salvation releases the power of miracles releases the power you have to believe then God releases the power you want to see the power of God you believe it then God is left with no option he releases the power he releases the power he can release the power. What happened with the woman of the blood issue? She said, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, then he touched it here. What did it do? It released the power and she was healed. You can touch the hem of his garment. You can touch him tonight. You can touch him this morning. He's the high priest. That can be touched by the feeling of infirmities. I say you can touch the hem of his garment. You can touch him today. You can touch him this Sunday. And what does it do? It releases the power. There can be a release of power. Put for me, brethren, the scripture, the quotation in the message, the presence of God. And he recognized. Amen. Then he says, Oh, the greatest pleasure I know of is to pray, is to be in the presence of God and pray until I can realize. Just type that, Oh, the greatest pleasure that I know of. Quickly, my brother, quickly, quickly, we don't have time. Time for me to talk of Kitiona. Time for me to talk of Samson. Time for me to talk about Hannah. Time for me to talk of all the saints. Time for me to talk of the three Hebrew children. Time for me to talk more of Enoch. Time for me to talk of Shamga. And must, time must fail us to talk about this one. Time must fail me to talk about the pastor. Time must fail me to talk about the song leader. Time must fail us to talk about every one of us. We will just conclude and say, Time. Fail me, but we talk, we take Gideon how he drove away the Philistines by the ox there. We pick up Samson, how he slew the Philistines by the jawbone of a dried mule of a dead mule there. Time for me to talk of the children, Hebrew children when they stepped in the fire, and the fire had no power over their lives. Then we come to this day, we come to talk about Brother Burnham. Time fell us to talk about what happened at Houston, Texas. Time will fail us to talk about Florence Knight and Angel. Time will fail us to talk about Andy Jemima. Time will fail us, but those who have experienced their lives and they are gone. Let's come back to today. We want to talk about you. We want to talk about Jemima in Johannesburg. We want to talk of Hannah in South Africa. I want to talk of Elizabeth in South Africa. I want to talk of Ruth. Not of that one of powers, but a modern day one. I want to talk of you today. When I go to Zimbabwe, I want to talk about your testimony. Time fell me. Time
time for me to tell you about what I have seen God doing even on Friday. Time can fail me to talk about what I have seen God doing. Oh, the greatest pleasure I know of is this. Is to be to pray until I can realize that I'm in the presence of God and recognize it. I think that ought to be the thrill of the church is the presence of the Holy Spirit. Seeing the God that made the promise, standing among us, feeling his presence, and see his word, see the vindicated. That's the greatest pleasure that I know of, is to be in the presence of God and recognize that now we are in the presence of Almighty God. When we get into that presence, how do we get into the presence? By faith. And how do we get faith? Faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. As you are standing there, you are hearing the hearing of your faith. As you are standing there, you are hearing the hearing of your salvation. As you are standing there, you are hearing the hearing of your healing. For you to be healed, you must hear about your healing. For you to be saved, you must hear the hearing of your salvation. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God and the Bible say how can they be saved unless they hear the gospel being preached to them how can they preach unless they are sent I have sent I am coming from the presence of Almighty God to come and tell you I am sent I am sent that is that rumor I am sent from the presence of God. I am sent. I am sent today. I am here in the name of Jesus Christ. I am here in the name of the Lord. I am here by the Holy Ghost. I am here by the Holy Ghost. I am here by that says the Lord. I say I am sent. How can they be saved unless they hear? How can they hear without a preacher? How can they preach unless they are sent? So therefore, faith cometh by hearing. Your healing cometh by hearing. Your salvation cometh by hearing. Allow me to preach your healing in the name of Jesus. Allow me to preach your Holy Ghost baptism in the name of Jesus. Allow me to preach your miracles in the name of Jesus. You want miracles? I preach them in the name of Jesus. You want healing? I preach your healing in the name of Jesus. You want children? I preach children in the name of Jesus. I give you children. I rebuke barrenness in the name of Jesus. You want twins? I give them to you in the name of Jesus. You want a boyfriend? I give him to you in the name of Jesus. You want a good wife? I give you to you in the name of Jesus. You want a good job? I give it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word. Unless we preach your healing, you will not receive healing. Unless we preach deliverance, you will not be delivered. Unless we preach the rapture, you will not get in the rapture. Unless we preach the second coming, you will not prepare for the second coming of Jesus Christ. We must preach it. We must forrun by the message of the hour. As John the Baptist was sent to forrun the second coming of Jesus Christ. The message of the hour is sent to forrun the second coming. The message came with the commission. The message came with the divine commission. I'm under divine commission to give you your heart's desire. I'm under divine commission. I am taking divine orders. I'm under divine commission to give you your heart's desire. I'm under divine commission to provide under divine commission. I'm taking some divine orders to give you your prayer request in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm under divine commission. Somebody must preach your healing. I say, somebody must preach your healing. Somebody must preach your deliverance. Somebody must preach your miracles. And I'm here to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm here to preach your healing. And I'm preaching your healing. I'm giving you your healing by the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We can live in a world of our 